going on? Haven't done a video here in long enough. A little overdue with all the chaos going on. It's um, been a little crazy, so my apologies. But um, anyways, wanted to uh, do a video just to do a video, but as well, create some good content and maybe some informational stuff. My uh, wife came home with this bad boy, and uh, I wanted to do a video. You know, I made one, an instructional video long ago on the FX6, and it was like in my earlier days of learning how to do all this stuff, and I'm by no means a, uh, a veteran, but I'm not a little better, so. Um, want to do another little quick, a quicker version, not like a six video set of how to just set this thing up. It's really easy. So uh, bear with me and um, we'll get this thing going. I'm going to throw in addition to um, my other filtration for the Stingray. I was supposed to get the Stingray into the garage by now, but just because of everything that's going on right now, that's kind of just been halted a little bit. And, um, anyways, I wanted to throw a little bit more filtration on his, on his tank. The nitrates are a little high, which, that's a whole other video right there, but, uh, more filtration is going to help with that, for sure. As well as, uh, keeping up with the water changes and all that stuff. So, without any further ado, let's get to this bad boy so this is the four um, I'll try to do some little cutouts and stuff on the screen let's get this in here we've got uh, this uh, thousand liters for all you Europeans and uh, non-US people 250 gallons okay it's uh, 2,650 liters per hour or 700 US gallons per hour GPH On the inside, it comes with uh, the instructions on each flap for whatever. Let me put this down right now. For whatever language you speak. Anyways, we're going to go by this boy, bad boy. I'll take a picture of it and uh, put it up on here somewhere. With that tube with your outs right there, okay. It's the out the box right here. It's going to be your in right there. Suction cups to stick it to the, the glass or the back, whatever you however you do it. This right here, there's two of these. These are to go over the tank to keep that curvature keep it down so that that way it doesn't float up or your thing doesn't get all jacked up stability these are going to be your valves that are on off it, this part connects to the um, the base and the tube connects to that part right there so you two of those bad boys and you got some hose tighteners right there let's see you just tighten with the screwdriver and then you got suction cuts Pretty simple stuff. You got trash. Which I don't even know how biodegradable that stuff really is, to be honest with you. I mean, we're dealing with animals here, it's kind of funny. And then we got the fifth tier. This is a lot smaller than, that, um, than the six. The six is prob is same diameter. Um, it's just probably, it's probably about uh, that much taller, so I don't know. Four inches taller, so I'm sure we can look it up. Um, <clears throat> this is for a card. You can put, um, if I remember correctly, this is a card to mark down like your last time you changed anything or cleaned it or whatever like that. Just a maintenance card for your own information. I mean, everyone uses their phones nowadays, so you just mark that in there. You got 
all the thing to tie in or uh, screw down the lid keep that suction going <clears throat> got a uh, thing about returning it nothing crazy you guys can figure all that out here's what the uh, oh one thing too is you'll notice is there's a tube on one side this on the out so the tube goes to the end and then the non tube side is the out what it looks like inside there. There's two handles. There's one right here. Okay, and one directly across. Pull those bad boys up to get it out. Yeah, and the uh, FX6 has a third layer. So that's tells you about how much different size this is. Rather than two layers, it's three. And then you got all that bad boy right there. The tube that's missing on the lid for the out is inside the, the um, thing already in there, okay? They tape the hose on just around for packaging purposes and to keep it all nice and non-kinked. So then you got this bad boy. Let me see if I can get this thing a wire here. So then you go like this, you lift up, you pull them apart, right? And you'll notice that there's smaller side and bigger side. Smaller side goes to the bottom, big side is the handle, okay? And they're kind of bowed in to go along with the curvature of the, the thing. And then you can take these things out. Top layer, you got your um, very porous sponge right here to catch like the big stuff um, and then you have inner layer right here with a little bit finer okay it comes with two bags of some media right here speaking of which I'm gonna throw some of these bad boys right here this in here this D nitrate just the same thing basically okay um, so we'll put that in there now what I'm probably going to do is I'm just going to throw both bags. And I've got tons of this, as you have seen in some of my other videos in my, uh, in my uh, fish tank in my room. So actually, that's that's a way what you can do is if you want to jump start it. If I want to jump start this tank, that would be a way to go get that stuff. And that's kind of what I was doing, to be honest with you. So, um. I may actually do that. So I'll be right back. Okay, boom, back. All right, so what I did is I got the media that I had from other, my other tank that was just sitting in there for this pretty much exact reason. And I'm gonna throw that in the tank so that way all the beneficial bacteria that's on these is gonna be in here. Um, if you don't know about that kind of stuff, um, feel free to ask the questions be happy to answer it but that it's kind of a, um, a, a hack or a cheat if you will so um, basically for some for some of you guys that don't know so a tank needs to have beneficial bacteria which is kind of like the the stomach okay and it digests all the the crap and basically makes it safe and so like cows they got seven stomachs so their ability to be able to digest that that food okay seven anyways with the fish tank the more stomachs you have the more um, surface area you have this the more bacteria you can have so you can really break that stuff down quicker and uh, efficiently so it's kind of like having a bigger fish tank if that makes sense Okay. Oh, so this thing, I forgot to do this because it's the last one. It comes with bags. Okay. These bags right here. And that's what you put the, um, the media in. That's in these bags. So we're not going to use that. So I've got a little bit of that. In here, you got a very 
fine sponge. Same thing, porous one right there. I actually need to just loosen this a little bit. Possibly turn that a little bit out. Let's see. Okay. Leave that a little bit loose in there. Just so it fits a little bit better. Pretty simple. Now, this is something that's important. So if you're, um, if it goes too high and then these things can't sit on there, then these things can't sit on each other properly and you won't get a correct seal and you will have leaking in your filter. I don't know how hard it would be to do on this kind of filter because this one's got all of the screws around that dot the side. But I will tell you in most other filters, if it's just, if you don't have it sitting flush like it's meant to, you will cause problems. And you may not see them right away, but eventually you will. So that's a big old warning. So let me do this real quick cool. and uh, I'll be right back. All right, so I lied. We're gonna use these. This one's not very full. This one's a little bit more full. What you use, you fill it up, okay? Then you're gonna stick it through there, like so, okay? And you look, it kinda looks like a fish, okay? Then what you're gonna do, you're gonna put the cap on right there. I'll go down a little further and just pull it. I mean, and this is <clears throat> it's not necessary. You can use a rubber band or something. But there you go. <clears throat> and I mean, I could get more. I could really cram more if I really needed to. But like I guess if you don't want to get this thing going too high, otherwise it won't work. See right there, it's already probably too high. So I'm gonna have to take some out. Okay, so we got, actually just use one bag. But uh, put that in there. If you see it's flush. Well, it's kind of weird because I'm angling it weird, but you want it flush with that so that it sits correctly. Okay, so got that going. Now we're just gonna put this together real quick, back together real quick. This one. Now this one didn't come with another sponge. There's a sponge under it, and that's um, fine. And you can just use that one, um, and you can always add more. And um, Actually, what I'll do is I'll throw this extra little, little bit in here. So as long as it's not going to interfere with the seating of it, we're good to go. All right. So we'll make that the bottom. And like I said, we've got to sit. sit we got problems and you'll see how it has these things got to line up as well as it being able to do these so you put these things in here again small side of the bottom okay so it's a big size up okay good to go um and then the in and the out tube, this thing right here, and the one on the inside, is goes down in, in these sides, on both sides. You'll see that when you get that in there. Okay, so that sucker's in there. This thing just goes in the opposite side, like that. Okay, now, um, take this in mind, it depends on how you're going to do it, but you're going to need to put water in here. However you plan on doing it, I'll show you the way I'm going to do it to get it primed. Otherwise, it won't start sucking. Okay? So take that in the, into um, count before you re-close up or whatever you're going to do. Okay? I think this closes up. Alright. Oh. This hose right here, this clear one, I'm totally spacing this. That's for um, cleaning. 
that's not a hose for um, the in and out. This thing right here, this, this clear hose right here, it's a pretty good uh, gauge. I want to say it's three quarters. I, I could be wrong on that. But what it does is you'll see right here, you got a, a valve on the bottom. And you got a valve that you screw in, take this thing off. Okay. Make you look like a wuss. You put the hose on there, you can drain the, the filter from that way. Because this is something people don't think about is, this is not as bad, but each gallon weighs 8.5 pounds. So when you have this full of water, that's, you know, 30 pounds or however many gallons you got of your filter times, or in addition to how heavy the filter is. So it's not, they're not always light. But you also have this to turn and open and close the valve, okay? And uh, yeah. there's a little symbol on there that says you went to open and close. Okay. So now we got these bad boys. The hose. Okay. Now this sucker, you are going to cut it. And it's crazy for some people. But that's what you do. You're going to cut it and you put it on the things. So let me uh, go get some scissors and I'll be right back. All right, so before you cut it, you wanna make sure that you have all your measurements of where you're gonna put this thing in reference to um, how long you want the in and the out and all that stuff. If you have it on one side of the tank, obviously you're gonna have a shorter hose than a longer hose. Um, so take that into account. I'm not gonna explain that too much. I think that's pretty, common sense um, and this stuff's pretty I mean you could probably buy this at a store or um, online or you could even get home, go to Home Depot and probably buy the same type of stuff the only thing that's really nice is it has the name and um, this rubber ending right here really nice which you could probably put any hose almost the hose just so um, you know is 13.1 feet long I totally forgot to put this in one of the filters. So I'm gonna do that. And okay. So now what you're gonna do, real quick, you're gonna put these bad boys, these hoses, on these close these uh, valves right here, okay? All right, you got the side you cut on the opposite side, okay? <clears throat> so that's gonna go inside that bad boy. And this is a pretty good fit, so got a couple of bleeding. This is your out, which I need to put on the, well, it doesn't really matter to be honest with you on one and then the in on the other depending on how you have your, your tank set up is how you want to do that this thing right here i'm sure it does it like just like the last it extends so if you have a really long or uh, deep tank or you want your tank filter low or whatever you can do all that stuff um and i'm not going to really do a whole lot more on this on the setup it's pretty self-explanatory you're going to um match the this is the end to the end on the tank right here. And then the out, you're gonna put on the out. Um, I will say this though, you do need to, um, like I said, fill it with some water um, before. And what you can do is you can use like a gravel vacuum. You can use this right here, matter of fact, when it come with it, siphon it and just fill it up. A good portion. Um, once you get that going, make, make sure all these are all tight and good. Plug it in and it will go. And if it seems like it's like kind of lagging a little bit, give it time. These things don't always run consistently. They stop every so often. I can't remember how, how often it is, but they run. A trick that I do sometimes to get it primed, because sometimes it'll be sucking a lot of air uh, initially, I don't know if you're supposed to do this, but this is just something I do, 
is sometimes I'll mess with a little bit as far as the openness on these valves while, as it's going so that it's getting more in and not letting as much, there's more pressure involved to get out or vice versa. And that generally will help get rid of the, um, the remaining water or air that's in here. The more water you fill in here, the better. You don't have to mess with that. But if you were to be a little cautious or whatever, not fill up all the way, that's something you can do. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, it. Pretty self-explanatory, not rocket science. Um, this just needs to be lower than the tank. And um, make sure you set up the out and the in to how you want your tank designed. Um, you want to take into consideration if you have like uh, uh, wave makers or, or um, uh, power heads, and so that they're pushing into the right direction as far as you're in and you're out. Um, that will help with the cleanliness of your tank and less maintenance and healthier for your fish. So, anyways, um, that's it. Hopefully, I didn't miss anything. I'm sure I probably did. Um, I'll flash the uh, instructions here at the end for about 30 seconds or so. Um, so that way you can kind of get a, a glance at them. Um, and if you have any, any questions. Um, the hose is 13.1 feet, like I said, so that gives you an idea of, of how much room um, you have to play with. You don't have to use it all, but you know, why not? Um, and you know, most of your standard tanks are four feet long at at most, for the most of the standard ones, you know, up to 90 gallons, I believe, is, is uh, um, four feet long, and then it goes up to six feet. And I have a, a 180 that's six foot long, and uh, same size hose, and of course, fine. So this this thing right here will cover anything that you know you need to. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, whatever, you know, I'm, I don't really push that too much. Sometimes people, I think, are a little, a little pushy on that, but maybe that's why I'm not a huge YouTube channel. I don't know. Um, one day. Anyways, I hope everyone's doing good during this uh, craziness. And, um, yeah, just uh, stay safe.